Because the school system will never teach you about money. The school system was designed to teach you to be an employee or a doctor or a lawyer, a specialist, but never about money. My father was the head of education, PhD, all that stuff. I go home and ask him, said, why don't we learn about money in school? And he looked at me and says, because the government doesn't let us teach that subject. The government tells us what we can teach and what we can't teach. And I thought that was strange. And I said, but aren't we going to school to learn about money? He says, no, your job is to get a job. Poverty is passed on. It's taught in your families. And middle class is taught in families. And so the people right now who are sitting at home <clears throat> who are struggling financially or worried about money or unhappy, they may be making a lot of money, but unhappy with what they're doing, it was probably taught to you. You know, your super ego was taught, get a job, work hard, or you'll, or you'll never be rich, or the rich are evil, or whatever. If you're poor, you'll always be poor. Money will disappear that fast. Just like most pro athletes, you know, they make millions of dollars and what, 65% are bankrupt five years later? It's because they come from poor families. Now you tell them that, they get very angry at you. It's not, it's the rich fault. You know, it's you guys ripped me off and government ripped me off. But unfortunately, what Mr. Lipton was saying, it's passed down genetically. The moment I pay you, you think like an employee. Entrepreneurs work for free. You see, people say, well, why don't you give the poor money? So the only problem with that is just creates more poor people. Give a man know. a fish, he fishes for the day, or eats for the day. Yeah, you give a man a fish, you get a lot of people who want more fish. Don't tell people what, they, what you know. Right. Keep them poor. Poor will always be amongst us, because it starts up here. It's in their words, you know, and the words become flesh. Well, when they say, I can't afford it, or I can't do that, they go down. They become what they say. And I meet so many people, I don't, I can't afford it, you think I made of money. Poor people say, I can't afford it, I can't do that, I don't have time. Because this is an escape. It's an escape, you know what I mean? It's easy to say, I can't afford it. Oh, I'm too tired. Oh, I can't go to the gym. You know, when you, when you could go to the gym. Your rich dad used to say what? How can I afford it? How can I do that? You know, what would it take, or why should I do that? He says, a, a question opens a mind, a statement closes the mind. See, when you say, I can't afford it, your mind shuts down, and you become what you say. We all have fear, you know, to be truthful, we all have fear. It's just how you deal with it. You know, Einstein said, you know, imagination is more important than knowledge, but knowledge empowers imagination. And what most people lack is real, business knowledge, like accounting, you know, like debt, like taxes. You gotta know that stuff, but they don't teach it in school to anybody. People who are afraid of making mistakes like they teach in school, they don't ever grow. Because spirituality is there's good and there's bad, there's right and there's wrong, there's up and there's down. Most people only wanna be right, they only wanna be positive. Well, you can't have that. That's not reality. Every time I failed, it was like, good. I said, okay, what have I learned? And the average person, the reason they're poor is they haven't failed. You know, they play it so safe. They haven't made any mistakes like they taught in school. That means they don't learn anything. That's why the school system's actually fundamentally corrupt. It's anti-education. I think what most people do is they let their parents or their friends talk them out of life. So afraid of failing. But failing is how we succeed.